Hello guys and welcome to this video to review or to learn how to do the bisecting angle technique so how to take periapical radiographs without the film holders okay in many times you guys are going to prefer to use that and many patients they don't adapt to the film holders so let's see how we should proceed with this technique okay uh, three main key points here for you guys the first one is we need to review this of course the patient positioning Right, so you guys are seeing that the patient is not so much tilted in the dental chair, all right, and uh, the patient has the film inside the mouth. So, uh, what are the rules here? So, the main rule is that the side of the film or phosphorus plate or sensor doesn't matter. Uh, the side with only one color should be turned to the X-ray source, okay, and not to the tongue of the patient, for example. So. Uh, here you guys are seeing a blue film and this side which is flat and has only one color is turned to the x-ray source okay now the other side is the side with usually more than one color uh, that's the side uh, from which we open actually the the film you know to, to scan or to to review it doesn't matter so uh, this side of course will not be turned to the x-ray source so the flat side with only one color, okay? This will be turned to the X-ray source, like this, like we are seeing here in this picture, okay? So, um, of course, film in the horizontal position, okay, if we are on the posterior area, okay? So if we are taking uh, radiographs of premolars or molars, okay? So uh, if we are uh, in the anterior region, so canines, lateral incisors or center incisors, then the film or the phosphorus plate will be in the uh, vertical position, okay? So that's something that, that's very important. And then, of course, the, side, uh, the size of the film, uh, th this is very important. So usually we are going to use size 2 for adults and sometimes size 1 for, well, for children, of course, right? So uh, let's see how we, we need to position now, okay? So we have this film positioned, so let's say we want to take a radiograph of the premolars, and that's the inferior limit of the film, okay? And that's the mesial limit of the film, okay? And of course, you guys can always retract the cheek and the lip of the patient uh, for you to see if, you know, the, the film is covering the area of the teeth that you want to image, all right? Now, take a look at this. Uh, we are going to position the film, so the, the inferior border of this film should be not so far from the cusps, okay? So here, for example, is in the limits. So we should even push a little bit further up. And of course, there is the curve of the hard palate, right? So there is a curve of the hard palate and the film will, will bend as the patient push the films to, uh, towards the, the teeth and the, the hard palate. But it's fine, that's absolutely normal, okay? Because we, this is something that we need to take into consideration to choose the angles, okay? So we are, we are going to talk about the angles very soon in this video, all right? So, uh, and now what is the next step? The next step is that after you position with your hand, okay, the film, you are going to help the patient to bring the hand of the patient, always the opposite side hand, Okay, so now uh, if this is the left side of the patient, we are going to go with the right hand of the patient and thumbs will be used to support the film for upper radiographs, okay? Whereas for lower radiographs, we can use the index finger of the patient, all right? So here, uh, uh, this is the, you know, an upper radiograph, so we oriented the patient to use the thumb, okay? And all the other uh, fingers will be open, like this. All right, in order to you know prevent uh, issues during the the X-ray, you know during the radiographic procedure. All right, uh, now you can always, as I said, retract the cheeks um, uh, to make sure that you are in the correct area. And now we go for our next uh, key points, which is the film position. So the film position is pretty much uh, discussed, but um, now we need to see the angles, right? So. We need to choose the good angles and that's the third key point of today. And it's actually very simple. Take a look at this. We know that this is the angle of the, of the film. Okay, let me do this again here. Okay, so that's the angle or the axis of the film. And then we have the axis of the tooth. So let's say this would be the axis of the tooth here. Okay, and then uh, I don't want my X-ray source parallel to neither of those, okay? I want my X-ray source parallel 
uh, to the bisecting angle, which is something in the middle, okay? That's why that's my angle of the X-ray source. So this green line needs to be parallel to this green line, okay? How to find the green line? It's the angle, again, between the angle of the film and of the tooth, okay? They, they will have two different angles, okay? Uh, now a little bit easier for you guys how to actually to find this angle so much easier than this is it's it's uh, the way for us to think that it's almost parallel but then you turn a little bit upwards for for upper radiographs and a little bit lower to lower radiographs okay we turn a little bit downwards to lower radiographs okay so again take a look at this it's almost parallel to the film okay but the parallel way would be like this, more or less, okay? And now we turned a little bit, a little bit only to change this position, okay? In order to, uh, to, to have this angle properly. So now what's happening? Uh, of course, if I pull down my X-ray source too much, then I will elongate the image. But if instead of this angle here, if I do this angle here, then I will have a lot of superimposition of the zygomatic bone. Okay, and you guys don't want that either. Okay, so almost parallel. If you go parallel to the film, then you take the zygomatic bone. You don't want that. So then a little bit, so the base of the X-ray source a little bit downwards and the ceiling there a little bit upwards. It's, it's very, very, you know, the, the change is very small actually. All right, and then you guys will be able to take this image properly, okay, without the superimposition of the zygomatic bone. Of course, I'm talking about the posterior upper region because it's one of the most challenging ones, okay. For, uh, and of course, what is the correct horizontal angle? Parallel to the mesial and distal surfaces of the teeth, of course, right? Check the interproximal surfaces and go parallel, okay. So that's the horizontal angle and that's the vertical angle okay so vertical angle and horizontal angle horizontal angle parallel to mesial and distal and vertical angle here it's not horizontal a little bit you know uh, higher but for anterior teeth then it's higher okay it's almost 45 degrees usually okay because of the curve of the maxilla and the the shape of the roots of this region Okay, but again, when the patient position the film on the anterior teeth and open the other fingers, okay, then uh, you guys will realize naturally that this angle will be higher in fact, okay, indeed. So, uh, those are the key points. Uh, try to, you know, to train this procedure because it's very important and if you guys try to respect this angle, so almost parallel and then the angle a little bit higher and then you guys will be fine. Uh, for your bisecting angle techniques. So if you guys like, please hit the like button and see you guys in the next videos.